here at West Junior High amongst 100 plus people to bring light to the George Floyd case and every other African American that has been mistreated in the United States. Before we start, I want to do a moment of silence for George Floyd. So we all put our fists up. Everybody put your fists up. Yes, sir. Just for about a minute or so in memory of George Floyd and all the brothers and sisters who have lost their lives. That's right. All right? This is a peaceful event. I have to continue to reiterate that, okay? I, it's a peaceful event. Can we all say it together? It's a peaceful event. All right, we're gonna keep it peaceful. We're not here to keep placing blame, okay? We're here to focus on the pain and how we can heal and move forward from it, all right? So it's not gonna be any, any negative chanting. It's not gonna be any of that. It's all gonna be positive, all right? And we're gonna keep it positive. I appreciate, I appreciate, I appreciate every single person here. Yeah. The real prayer is powerful. Yeah. So let's bow our heads. Father God, we come before you on this glorious afternoon thanking you, Father God. Thank you for the fellowship. Thank you for the people of Brockton, Lord. We know that something powerful is going to happen today. Strongholds will be broken today. Yeah. Racism will be cracked yeah. today. Yeah. Father God, we know that people are hurting, but this is a place for answers yeah. within the community. And we ask that we just listen to one another. Listen to one another. Yeah. Listen to one another. And we pray this now in Jesus' name. We all say amen. 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 Now is the day in the city of Brockton for positive change, collaborative change. It needs to happen and it will happen. It will only happen if we do it peacefully and together. Amen. Power and numbers. Martin Luther King said that. The doctor said that. Power and numbers. Amen. These are the numbers. Yeah. We have the power. Yeah. If we really want to change, something. Yes, yes. We're not here just for a rally. Yes. Uh -oh, uh -oh. This is nice. Uh -oh. This is wonderful. Uh -oh. Good to see y'all. But I'm just not here for a rally. Yeah. I'm here for a rally today, but a round table tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is great, wonderful, but we must sit down as brothers and sisters with all the leaders and all of the people and talk about what is right, talk about what is wrong, talk about who needs, can we keep it real? Come on, come on. Come on, who needs to go? Oh, don't, don't look at your neighbor, don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at your neighbor. But somebody may have to go if they're not doing right in our city. Can I get an amen? We're about bringing the community together, the politicians together, the leadership together, yeah. the police together, yeah. we're going to stand up together, yeah. because why right united right we stand, right and divided right we fall. Right thank you, thank you. So people call me and say, hey, why are we marching? Why are we going down West Elm Street? Why are we going to the police station? We don't need to go to the police station. We don't need to march. We're right here. Everything's right here in our heart. We need to talk. It's about communication. It's about working together. It's about crossing the aisle. That's what it's about. That's how we create change. You can pick up a rock and break a window, but what are you doing? Pick up a paint and create legislation. That's what you need to do. You need to change the laws. If you don't like what's going on, you change the DA. If you don't like what's going on, you change the mayor. If you don't like what's going on, you change the governor. If you don't like what's going on, you change the president. I need y'all to do me a favor. If you have a sign, hold it up high. at the time became a police officer way back when so she convinced me to become a police officer her words were this why don't you become a police officer and I said are you crazy I hate those effing pigs I hate those cops they're this they're that her answer was think about it instead of bitching about it you can change things and I thought about it. And you know what? I said, you are right. So instead of complaining, 
I can change things. And I think I did. It has. So at that time, I convinced my other sister, Carmen, to become a police officer. And guess what, people? We became the first three minority sisters in the whole If your race is in Brockton, you intentionally want it to be. Because this is a special place, y'all. Hey, listen. Look. Look. You can go to New York City. You can go to Philadelphia. You can go to Miami. They got diversity there. They got Italian neighborhoods. They got Jewish neighborhoods. They got Spanish neighborhoods. Not here in Brockton. Not here in Brockton. You grow up with everybody right next to you. Hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to tell all my black people. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I know some good white people. I know some good black people. Yeah. I'm gonna tell both of y'all. I know some good K Verdians. Yeah. And then I'm gonna tell all three of y'all. I know some good Haitians. Yeah. That's what we grow up with here. Mexicans. Yeah. Uh, If you're a racist here, you want to be. You want to be. So, to all my people, look, we got a lot of people here right now. We got a lot of people that want to do a lot of things. You want to do something, put your name on the paper and hit Deja. Young people, young people out there, this is the time to understand what this is about. This ain't about looting and getting free stuff. This isn't about getting in the face of the police, clout chasing, trying to get them to do something to react so you can be on Facebook getting beat up. That's not what this is about. This is about change and it starts now. Real change starts by the means and the things that people have said up here all day. Make yourself a part of that system. Infiltrate yourself into that system. Get into that system. Become a part of that. Take the test. You want to know how to become a police officer? I do recruiting all the time. And I try to get young black people, people of color, to take the test to come on this job. You want to find out? Come talk to me. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll tell you how to do it. I'll give you that advice. And I'll mentor you along, along the way. I have no problem with it. I won't block with you. There is a saying that says, I am only one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. And I will not let that which I can do be interfered by that which I can't do. I am only one, but I can do something. That every single young person in this crowd, you need to go get your education. You need to make sure you're getting that knowledge. Because without that knowledge, you won't know what to do. Without that knowledge, you won't know what to do. I know a lot of you guys, you made hate school. Everybody's virtually teaching right now. They're doing that virtual learning, it sucks. None of my eighth graders show them to class, right? But what it is, Every single person, every young person in this crowd, you need to make sure you get your education, you get your knowledge up, because you do not want to get caught without the information you need to get through the, 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 the struggles or whatever may come your way, all right? Repeat after me. George Floyd said, man, my face hurt. Man, my face hurt. 
I did nothing serious. very important because we do a lot of talking we do a lot of posting but you definitely have to get out here and do something and I think this is actually an outlet for everybody because we're sitting at home you know thinking about these things and we're devastated and we're heavy-hearted but we're getting out here and doing something and I think that alleviates a little bit of the stress but there's a lot more to be done there's a lot of road ahead changed we need laws changed we need to be at the state house every fucking week bro we need laws changed it was not only martin luther king that led that dream bro but it was all the lawyers everybody the detectives that got everything passed that's what we need we need everybody to keep supporting keep protesting and laws changed yes I did not be a cop to put people in jail. Okay, every single day that I work this job, and you can ask anyone, I've only been on for almost a year, right? I would rather educate anyone than put them in handcuffs. You got, you got people who have had their businesses locked up with this corona thing for two months, three months. And guess what? There's protests, people break into their business. Yeah. And guess what? You're hurting our own people. That's not right. You're not you're not hurting them. Not here, you think man. you're hurting not Trump? No, no that's way. not gonna you think happen. You're hurting that's Trump? Not here, not you're, not, you're hurting us. You know? People that are struggling Look, every man. day to make their business. You know? These guys aren't it's bad. Be guys. No. You know? We These can't guys express aren't bad your guys. right to go They're home. With us. That's it. You know? Otherwise Respect. otherwise I wouldn't be here. You know? If I if, if you're telling me if I didn't believe and trust them that I would be standing here right now, I wouldn't be here. You know, but I know for a fact that our guys wouldn't do it. We all have come together in Brockton, Massachusetts to defeat one common issue. Through these protests, it is important that the message is not distorted. The world needs to change. Racism has our full attention and it's time to act now. We should all stay strong, stay safe, and help fight put an end to racism. I'm Sarah Idu, and you're watching Brockton Community Access.